<laughs> Elizabeth Stuart Clark's Historic Moments Pattern, Girls' Dresses. Now, what do you get? Well, first of all, you get two sheets of patterns with four sizes. Now, it doesn't sound like a lot, but Liz has her own sizes. It's from one to four. And one is sort of about a three-year-old girl. And my daughter, who's uh, more than four and a half feet, is in a three. So it goes all the way up to a four. So it gives you a lot. Um, now, these are not the type of patterns that you cut out. You're going to want to trace that. I tape it up to the glass and then trace the pattern and then use the pattern pieces to cut out. You also get this booklet, which has all sorts of very detailed instructions on how to do pretty much all the construction whatsoever, including a chart of how much fabric you need and so on. It's fabulous. Oh, and a size chart. There's a size chart. There's a size chart. Lots of detail on how to construct all of it. So what things can you make from this pattern? Ooh. Well, first of all, you have three different bodices. You can make something called an infant bodice. That's this. The bodice is here to here. This piece is a one piece sleeve. So here is where the bodice ends and the neckline contains both the sleeve and the neck. It's a very nice pattern. Um, and you can see that I have made a gathered sleeve and I have made a gathered bodice with this pattern. They have a plain version of this one also where it's not as gathered. So that's bodice number one. Bodice number two is our basic bodice, which you can see here. You can see that now we have a set in sleeve and we have a straight bodice. Um, and so that's bodice number two. And then there's bodice number three. This is bodice number three which is sort of a combination. I've done a yoke, still a set in sleeve, but now we have a yoke, the top is not gathered and the middle is gathered. And so that gives a different option. Um, and then there's your waistline options. This one is set onto a waistline as in the first one was. So set into our waistline. This one's a little bigger. I think this one's almost two inches. This one's closer to an inch and a half. This one has no waistband treatment at all. The skirt is set directly to the bodice. So those are our, our waistline options and our bodice options. So let's talk sleeves. You can see this dress has a long bishop sleeve with a cuff. Could be uncuffed also. This one, I did a coat sleeve. And so this is a two-piece coat sleeve. Short sleeves gathered like a puff, like this one. There's a puff option in the standard sleeve. It also contains the short plain sleeve. I did this in a boy's style, but you can see that the girl's pattern has the same thing. And then as we go into the skirt, she gives instructions on how to do the growth pleats. Um, so that gives you sort of an idea of all the variations and she says three bodice styles, short and long sleeve, waistband options, customized skirt length, and growth tucks. And she really does give all the instructions on how to do all those variations, all in one pattern. I love this pattern. And the instructions are fabulous. Thanks, Liz. So not included in the pattern, but if you've got a little drafting skills, I took the bodice pattern added some additional ease and length and used the coat sleeves and made a coat for my daughter. I also took a wrapper pattern that I had and modified it to use the wrapper, used my bodice pattern and added on the attachment and made a front closing wrapper. And then I used the same pattern when we were going to Colonial Williamsburg to make a pseudo 1700. I knew the pattern fit her, so I added the additional ruffle and moved the sleeve a little bit. And then, uh, so yeah, a great base pattern to be used for all sorts of things. Thanks.